Baltimore, you've kind of gotten a crash course in, in tight end in the last couple of months. Like, how has this gone for you? Um, I think it's, it's been really well, uh, very well, you know, transition uh, from high school. Um, it's, def it's definitely hard, like, understanding the playbook. I feel like, you know, just once I get that and just get comfortable actually just being on the field, that would be big. Just let me play free. How much has Kyle Warlock kind of helped you set up? Oh, yeah, Kyle, Kyle, Jackson, Brian, those are, I would say the main three as far as, like, actually helping me understand everything, you know, just being, like, I guess, mentors. I mean, they're older. They've been, you know, in the system for a while. So um, they've definitely been, you know, huge in you know, my transition. Coach Thorne Bell said you really improved from the first year to the second. What was the key to you to make those adjustments? Um, I would say just, I mean, it's a lot easier the second time because I, I, at least I've been on the field at least at that point um, just being comfortable um, and then you know that after the first week I, I feel like I didn't you know play up to my expectations of myself just had to you know get in get into lab uh, coach, coach Brady coach Preston's um, just early in the morning just you know just really just understand the playbook um, and just being comfortable so. Has that been the biggest uh, learning curve for you, kind of understanding the playbook and just like the game behind the game? Yeah, I, w I would say uh, definitely, definitely just just understanding, um, you know, just the little things too on top of that. So not just understanding my assignment, but, um, you know, how to actually make the action of, you know, doing that assignment. So just footwork, you know, little things like that, half placement, um, you know, just, just little things. What's it been like working with Coach Johnson? Um, that is a, a funny old dude. If you see this, that's a, that's a funny man. Uh, I love Coach Thompson. He's he's definitely you know on everything he said throughout my career process. Um, you know he's just, he's just been a man as we're uh, really real. Um, and then he's just you know just keeping me accountable. He never lets me slack. If you ever see me walk, he's like small or like jog, jog, uh, finished. We have a thing called two lines. So after every play, just run past two lines. Just just get in. Just, you know, finish it, so. How do you feel like your walking is going longer in the preseason? Um, it's definitely, yeah, see, that's a definitely uh, big thing that, you know, Coach Thompson recruits is um, players that, you know, how to uh, make plays on the ball. Um, like, big wide receivers, like, I like, was uh, talking about through high school, you know, I was a big wide receiver, so I was never really hand in the ground type, you know, tight end. But um, he's definitely, you know, big on blocking, and he's he's definitely made, made me improve. I feel like it's something I still need to work on. Um, still, like coming in here, you gotta be humble, knowing that these guys, are, you know, they're a lot bigger. So I'll uh, just put it on weight, just you know, being in the lab, getting it done. Is there any defensive players that are kind of coaching you up after a round, saying, "Oh, like you could have done this better," or anything like that? Um, what does that look like for the fifth guy? I mean, I would. Honestly, um, right now I'm focused on tight end, but you know, whenever the time comes, um, you know, if that transition you know, provides itself, then I mean, that's, that's what happens. Um, right now I'm not really focused on uh, playing, you know, D and just, I'm just locked in on tight end and just trying to get myself ready for two um, it's definitely, it's something I said in my past interview, like, just, you know, I, I feel like the best way to, you know, become, like, what you want to be is just go against people that are honestly going to whoop you sometimes. Like, going against Marvin, like, uh, I had Brian one day, you know, come up to me, like, let me get this rep, and I was like, man, I want it. Like, trying to go against guys like that, you know, I, I feel like Marvin's definitely, um, you know, first round caliber guy, so just going against guys like that, you know, just even if I'm getting whooped, you know, it is what it is. You, you learn from it, you get better. Um, I mean, I feel like we have a, you know, top D line, you know, in the nation, in my personal opinion. So, um, you know, just, just like what I said, really just learning, honestly, getting comfortable.